All right, the Republican pool of presidential candidates is filling up. Their goal, of course, to win the primary for a chance to take on a Democrat in the general election, which will likely be President Biden. Of course, no road to the White House is complete without a fiery debate. So here to give us a glimpse of what that might look like is 2024 Republican presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy. Welcome. It's good to be here. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for joining us. And the first question in this debate I will pose to you, are you willing to debate Joe Biden one on one? You know, after deep consideration, I think I'm going to have to muster the courage to say yes to that. One. <laughs> we will take him on. I know he's very tough in that sense. You sound cocky. You sound cocky. Well, let's see. We asked the president uh, similar questions here. So let's go and see what President Biden thinks about that. Okay. Uh, come on, man. I'll debate any of these guys. Come on, bring them at me here. I'll do, I'll, I'll do uh, uh, Orange Man. I'll debate Florida Man. Uh, I'll, I'll debate that uh, Vitek Ramaswamy. He's got a worse name than Barack Obama. <laughs> okay, he's, he's already hitting hard, I see. Oh, uh, it's hard swing. It looks harder than the real one. I okay, say. so I'm going to ask, we'll go to the president on this one. Question number two. Do you pledge to serve your full term and not bow out? No, 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 no. I'm not going to bow out. You're talking to old Joe from Delaware. I'm the man who took on Corn Pop. I don't know the meaning of bow out. I'm not going to bow out. Yeah, I can't bow, tell you the truth. Uh, the other day I bent over at the waist and uh, yeah, I fell over and hit my head. Wow. So uh, I'll ask the same question. Vivek, are you willing to serve your full term? I am. And I will say that if he's willing to bow to anyone, it's probably Xi Jinping, because that's what we see, or Zelensky. But I'll make sure that he's done. He's bowing to me by the end of that debate, too. All right. Here we go. Question number three. President Biden, can you be trusted with the nuclear codes? Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. I, uh, nuclear codes. I got all the codes, man. I've been around. Morse code. Yeah, it's all up here. Yeah. And, uh... I got the, uh, what is it, the Code Red? Remember that one? You're damn right I ordered the Code Red. Uh, you can't handle the truth. Who's that guy? He was good. He was in that other thing about the, uh, uh, about the guy. Anyway, what's the question? <laughs> Vivek Ramaswamy, can you be trusted with the nuclear codes? I'll be trusted with the nuclear codes. I will say he looked a little bit more like Jack Nicholson on One Who Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest yeah, than he did it from A Few Good Men. You know, and that may be the film he was trying to reference. He I was, think that's right. He was thinking hard about that one. Uh, but, you know, great, great movie, all of them. Okay, question number four. RFK Jr. went viral recently with his push-up video. I don't know if you saw it. Let's take a look at the video. Okay. Let's go. Okay, pretty impressive. Uh, let's ask the president, are you fit enough to take on the competition? Oh, yeah, come on, man. I'll do more push-ups than any of these guys. RFK, VTech, Ravaswabi, I don't even care. Here we go, count them out. One, two, there we go. Three, all right, oh, come on, make it burn. Let's do some one-handers, all right? Here we go, four, oh, yeah, five. Oh, yeah, six. Come on, man. Wow, he actually did better than I thought on that one. He, he actually did. I give him more credit than, than I expected. At his age, you know. Yeah. I think RFK is pretty impressive at his age, but I will definitely, if he declines the debate, I'll take the push-up challenge. Yeah. Well, do you think, do you like this idea? Obviously, you're pretty good. You're pretty good with social media and, you know, working this kind of angle as, you, as, you, as you're out there on the campaign trail. Um Guys like RFK Jr., they're kind of changing the game with a lot of these uh, videos. Do you have anything planned like that, you know, shirtless video? I think I mostly like to roll unplanned, actually. That's the whole point of it. Yeah. Right? Usually if I feel like saying something, we'll pop up the iPhone, we'll take a selfie. I've actually been playing with tennis players across the country, top junior tennis players. Get my exercise in. That's what I do. And so we tape that, and sometimes we'll put that on Twitter, too. Are you good, are you good tennis player? 
I used to be very good. I think now I'm, I'm passable. I'm yeah. pretty good. I think I'm going to play Pat McEnroe at the U.S. Open. He and I discussed that on Twitter. That's great. We, I don't remember having a tennis playing president. Golf is a real presidential kind of game, right? There's certain things. I remember Kerry got in trouble, John Kerry, because he was out uh, windsurfing, and people didn't think that was kind of a presidential thing. But uh, I stick to what I do. Yeah, yeah. tennis I've been playing for all my life, and I was competitive growing up. And it's actually good to play. It's an individual sport, but yeah. Gets you a good sweat, especially when I play with college kids across the country. What do you got plans, Vivek, for the, uh, the holiday weekend? We're going to be going to the 4th of July parade on Tuesday. I'm going to hopefully spend it with my family. Haven't seen them too much on the campaign trail yeah. in the last few weeks. And so I'm looking forward to some celebrating the 4th. And actually, my first son, he turns one year old on oh. July 5th. Beautiful. Well, yeah. hey, all the, all the luck to you. Have a great 4th of July weekend. I appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks for coming out.